So I'm sitting in an all-electric BMW right now, and would you believe me if I told you that you could get one of these on the used market for under $25,000? Hey everybody, I'm Deshella from Edmonds, where we're known as the car testing pros. And today, we're teaming up with CarMax to explore five used EVs that cost $25,000 or less on the used market. Why that figure? Well, because there is a new tax credit of up to $4,000 on used electric vehicles that cost less than that. So these are our best bets for you to get the credit while also getting a good driving car. Okay, now for the EVs. Let's start with the BMW i3. Now, one of our favorite things about it is its distinct look. It has a really cool premium interior and you can find them with either open pore wood or metal trim. The i3 debuted in 2014, and the 2021 i3, which is the last year BMW produced it, got an EPA estimated 153 miles of range when new. And Apple CarPlay also came standard. But it is missing Android Auto and a few key driver's aids like adaptive cruise control. Even though 150 miles doesn't sound like a lot, it can be more than enough. And hey, most EV owners charge at home anyway. Keep in mind though, EV batteries do degrade over time and this can impact their range. You can learn more about that in the video linked above. If you'd like a car with a European flair, but the i3's design is just a little too eccentric for you, then there is the Volkswagen e-Golf. On the market from 2015 to 2019, it looks almost identical to the gas power Golf. In 2017 and later models got an EPA estimated 125 miles of range, which is a huge bump from the original 83 miles. We like the e-Golf for its comfortable ride, its premium interior, and because starting in 2016, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto were standard. Now starting in 2017, the e-Golf SEL trim came with all the important driver's aids, like adaptive cruise control and automatic emergency braking. And starting in 2019, it was also available on the base SE trim. The Nissan Leaf has been around for more than a decade, but the second generation, which started in 2018, is what's really worth a look. Now these Leafs, or is it leaves, can go an EPA estimated 149 miles on a single charge. Now the older generation gets a little more than 100 miles on a full charge. The Leaf can be a great value, but just keep in mind that the base trim is pretty bare bones. So you're gonna wanna look for an SV trim or higher, specifically a 2018 model or newer to get more features. Now we're talking things like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, automatic emergency braking, adaptive cruise control, and other modern high-tech features. Ionic is what Hyundai is calling its electric cars, and it all started with this car way back in 2017. Last made in 2021, this little hatchback was Hyundai's first ever EV. And for 2020 and 2021, it got an EPA estimated 170 miles of range, which is more than any other EV on the list. Now, earlier models got 124 miles, which isn't bad, you know, if you mostly drive in town. Starting in 2020, the Ionic Electric came standard with key driver's aids, including adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and automatic emergency braking. Now, prior to that, it was only available on the top tier limited trim. Now, 2020 also brought more power and a bigger touchscreen. We wish there was more room in the back seat for taller people, but hey, at least the sleek hatchback design makes storing your things quick and easy. If you're on a tight budget, good news, the Ford Focus Electric is the least expensive EV on the list. It was in production from 2012 to 2018, but it's important to know that through 2016, it only had a 73 mile range on full charge. Starting in 2017, it had 115 miles, which is better. So if you have a longer commute or sometimes take side trips after work, definitely consider the 2017 and 2018 models. Even though the range is short, the Focus Electric is fun to drive. I mean, it has a sporty feel to it. And features wise, it's based on the higher end titanium trim of the gas powered Focus. So it is loaded with features. Now, 2017 and newer models come standard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. As you can see, you can get an EV that doesn't break the bank as long as you know what you're looking for. Just know that some of these used EVs might be a little hard to find, being that there weren't a lot sold in the first place. 
Let us know your favorite affordable EV in the comments below. And you know what? Because of all the money I just saved, I'm gonna treat myself to dinner. See ya.